When I first get up in the morning, I just roll over, grab my Bible, and I start reading my Bible. Then I go downstairs, I, like I have to let my eyes totally adjust, so I keep the lights off for a little while. And I'm not a coffee drinker, but it does get me awake first thing in the morning so I normally do a pot and it lasts like two days and then I get my um, coffee from Starbucks and I mix that with the ones that I have at home to kind of wake me up and I like to drink this first thing in the morning to get me moving so I before I take a shower so I like to drink this and then I don't like coffee at all but I like to drink this because it gets everything moving before I go use the bathroom so it won't delay me and then once I'm done drinking the coffee I drink at least if not this whole bottle of water I drink at least half almost all of it and then I can go handle my business in the bathroom <laughs> I don't turn on a TV, I don't look at social media, I don't really touch my phone besides if I want to play gospel or something like that. It is completely silent, it is peaceful, I get to do my own thing and get like centered and it's just very peaceful in the morning so I turn nothing on. I always drink my coffee with a straw um, because it keeps the stains off your teeth. So I never drink the coffee straight from the coffee cup. I always use a straw just because it stains your teeth really bad. While I'm in the bathroom doing my business, I still read the Bible. I don't answer phone calls. Sometimes I don't even have the phone near me. I read the Bible. If my thoughts are heavy, I will journalize. I will write everything down that I'm feeling and then I will read the Bible. It all depends on how I'm feeling when I wake up. So I just took a shower, brushed my teeth. Um, this is my go-to after I get out the shower. I love to put this oil on plus something light before I work out. And then my favorite, one of my favorite Chanel perfume. This is what I chose to use today in the morning. Whenever the weather permits, I love, absolutely love being outside, doing my yoga. I feel that it's peaceful. I feel his presence. I like the nature. It was beautiful this morning. It was like 70 degrees. It's a big tree in our backyard. I get to look up and I just feel his presence. So whenever the weather permits, I do my yoga outside. But while I'm doing my yoga, I like to listen to Reverend Joel Osteen. 
Now, years ago, I came across him when he first started his ministry, and his messages just puts me in this good space. It is inspiring to me. I've been listening to him for years now. I pick him in accordance to how I'm feeling when I wake up. His messages, I pick the messages in accordance to how I'm feeling. And it has always lifted my mood when I'm done. And I listen to him. His messages last for about 30 minutes. I listen to him while I'm doing yoga. And once his message is over, then I switch to my gospel playlist. And I pick like four songs um, that puts me in a good space as well. And I pick four songs. My favorite ones is um, by Tamla Man Potter. And um, I also like a lot of gospel so I listen to that for like another 20 minutes my yoga is like 45 minutes to an hour this is my routine try it and let me know if you like anything that I do